need to pull you off your tail for now. Are you ready to fight? Naturally. It was a rhetorical question. If we're lucky, word hasn't spread that you've hung up your jackboots. Just try to put on your meek, harmless, broken by the system face. Oh, and don't forget your uniform. Resuming my normal duties. Who's that? <laughs> Looking sharp. Your ex-colleagues won't pay any attention to you unless you let them take a close look. Quite enough of this. Big. A word of caution now we're inside. Any disturbance in here and Nigel Cass will surely cancel his meeting. Avoid being detected by your former colleagues or this operation is a bust.
Nigel won't have anything important on this floor. You're quite knowledgeable about calves, aren't you? Yeah. I was Albion too, if you hadn't tweaked to that. Me and Cass were close ones. Looked up to him. <laughs> he was bigger than life, fam. Literally a tech genius. And I was just a gearhead kid. I wanted to be like him. That's why I joined up. Oh, for fuck's sake. Didn't find out he was a murderous prick until later. This door clearly requires a security pass. Well, that's just great. Use one of the nearby computers to create your forgery. Be careful. You don't want to know what Nigel does with trespassers. There are some parts of this city that need a good working over with some heavy boots. You understand? Uh, yeah, I know. I told you. Yeah. But there's always the hell of I have no idea. I'll show you up one day. Sure. But I thought we'd taken care of them. No, no. It'll take some time for the forgery to be ready. To keep you occupied, I've dragged up still images and a recording from an internal investigation into Cass Senior's death. Show me. Internal psych assessment AS001 subject Cass Nigel. Mr. Cass experienced a deeply traumatic event when he witnessed the murder of his father, Gareth Cass, CEO of Albion. He began exhibiting symptoms soon after what he frequently described as the random event. Mr. Cass's initial symptoms included insomnia, paranoia, distorted blame and recurring flashbacks. However, he appears to have channeled his anger and self-described powerlessness into his work to ensure that Albion become, quote, a mechanism for preventing unpredictable violence. It seems somewhat of a mania edging on psychosis. For me, this raises concerns about Mr. Cass's fitness to run a multinational security company, but I cannot, at this time, make any recommendation beyond continued monitoring, especially considering that I have been asked to close this file. Grand. They put someone incapable of processing their emotional baggage in charge of our security. Just grand. Yeah, well, Nigel was never close to anyone but his dad. And me, I guess. Never had much faith in people, really. Well, the pass is ready, but rough. If this resistance thing doesn't work out, I doubt you'll make a living as a document forger. Let's give it a go anyway. Nigel Cass awaits. How's it going? A bit tense. How are you getting on with those metrics? The deadline is coming. I haven't up seen you around before. What do you do to miss it? He's presenting to the stakeholders right this now. This is resisting arrest. I know. Intruder I... alert! Intruder alert! <laughs> They better not be just a bunch of terrorists yeah. pretending to have morals. How's it going? See, a bit tense. Know what he's doing. He'll do you no good to question his direction. 
I'm not questioning his bloody directive. I'm wondering why we're not being sent out against those fucking thugs. Might not you get over there? I know, I know, but if I mess this up... Welcome to Project Themis. Our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Without your support, I couldn't stand here and tell you. But I promise you, that with the launch of Project Emmys, London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Mr. Cass, I was hoping you called us all in here today to discuss the ethical issues. <laughs> no, it's all right, the Commissioner cares, as we all do. I admire his, his passion and his dedication. Let's talk ethics. Well. For one, Themis goes far beyond Albion's mandate. We really should have more government consultation. I see. Delay the launch so that we can debate and assess the details. We're missing the human element here. I can get the defense minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. the human element that got us into this. No more debate, delay, indecision. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. Now, will our friends at Tidus be ready? You are the cornerstone of the project, after all. Do you need to consult any outside parties? Uh... No. We'll be ready. And just in time. Criminals running our streets. Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner himself. Assassinated by terrorists. Decisiveness is hard. But here's the best part. Once this decision is made, no more will be required of you. A building wide security sweep has been initiated Everybody due to. I warned you about that, Forgery. Your uniform will help. Don't let them get a close. I need an exit. Quickly! The catacombs, fam.
provide you an action in there, didn't you? Barrel can be very, uh, persuasive. He knows how to get his way. And he wants this Themis project launched post-haste. I doubt that's good news for London. I don't like this at all. Albion's top secret project is an automated killing machine. And it looks like Cass is almost ready to launch. We have to get Themis out of his hands. I'll prepare a briefing. Will we see you there, Hamish? Pretty face, not risking, remember? But patch me in. You and me got some scheming to do, Bagley. I'll start the briefing whenever you're ready. Here's what we know about Nigel Cass. He's rolling out something called Project Themis. The lack of information on its own is worrisome. But what little we do know is Cass wishes to remove the human element from law enforcement. We also know he's partnered with Titus, which is never good. Titus does other work with Albion. Nasty shit like autonomous weapons, human targeting algorithms. So Titus is our best lead to fill in the blanks on the secret project, but their security is notoriously difficult to crack. So Hamish has proposed an intriguing solution. Albion's been working on a new microdrone, something my contact told me about. That shit's not even in production yet, but if we get the plans, we can manufacture our own. To bypass Titus security? Exactly, exactly. They're weird as fuck. Supposed to do maintenance on Albion's other drones, but the smallness of them means they can slip into places nothing else can. Well, there we have it. Our next step is to infiltrate the Albion drone manufacturing lab and get our hands on schematics. And then you lot will have a fun little gadget to break in the Titus. Love it. I'll shoot you the location. Be careful. Albion doesn't like to share his toys. 